Well, there are new numbers just released from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention about autism and how it affects children. According to the CDC, they estimate one in 88 children are affected by the developmental disorder. There are many ways to lessen the symptoms associated with autism, including diet and exercise. But as News Channel 5's Alicia Ciccoloni tells us, there is some new evidence that a raw foods diet might be a new key to help families dealing with autism. The individual does not really understand how to interact and socialize. This is the most simple description to explain autism that Dr. Max Wisnitzer from University Hospitals can give. But to the families that live with a child who has a disorder, it's much more complex. Day to day life can be a struggle. They don't like things to change around them, or they can have certain behaviors or certain habits that they follow through. Autism can be detected as early as 12 to 18 months old. That's why if a parent feels something is not right, go to the pediatrician as soon as possible. Studies have shown that with intense early intervention, you can actually see a significant gain in IQ and absence of many of the bad habits that would otherwise develop. Clearly, experts say therapy is the best way to help a child get through the symptoms of autism and even maybe lessen them. But did you ever wonder if diet might help too, like a daily dose of some lettuce or even some fruit? Marisa Desenzo Pelzer is a raw foods chef and personal trainer. She says raw foods clears the body of toxins naturally. For an autistic child, Marisa says getting rid of toxins is imperative. From doctors who promote an allergy free diet for, for autistic children, is that if the child's body isn't overloaded with processed foods and these allergen foods, they can perform more optimally. I was really excited to participate in the, the Cleveland Chili Cookoff for Autism because I, I do have a passion for helping people naturally with food. And I think it kind of goes hand in hand because I actually have had a lot of mothers call me with autistic children because their doctors have put them on like an allergy free diet. The raw food diet is naturally free of all those allergens. So what is considered a raw food? Well, Marisa says it's anything that's plant based and even her one year old daughter loves it. This Mexican mix of treats is a great example of raw foods recipes. That's walnuts with a little bit of fajita seasoning just processed down. How so. do you do that? Really easy with a food processor, throw the ingredients in, pulse chop it, and it's done. And the corn chips are basically frozen organic corn blended, um, blended with a little bit of onion. And then I throw in some shredded carrot and some flax and dehydrate it. And this is just nacho cheese sauce made with um, soaked cashews, uh, red peppers, some nutritional yeast, and a few seasonings. But it's not really cheese. It's not cheese, no dairy, <laughs> just all. Veggies. Dr. Wisnitzer says no diet will cure autism, but it can help with complications. Because as long as your nutrition is well balanced, that's the key point. Alicia Ciccoloni, News Channel 5.